Sometimes it feels like the whole world wants us to drink alcohol. There's celebrities promoting it. We go to a restaurant, the sommelier comes over and gives us this wide selection of wine. Our friends call us up and ask us to go to the bar. Heck, even the government are giving us recommended daily allowances. I think the correct amount of alcohol to drink is zero because there's no benefit to consuming any amount of poison, but this is the world that we live in and it's not changing anytime soon. But today in this video, I'm going to break down who is responsible for this. Who is responsible for selling this crap to millions of people? Because if we can understand who's responsible for doing it, then we can equip ourselves to listen to these lies, these ideas that are promoted every single day. You know, what I want this video to be is almost like a shield, right? I want you to be able to hold this video like a shield. People are going to say, just have one drink. You know, drinking wine is glamorous. Let's go to a wine tasting event. I want you to use this video as your shield to just say, do you know what? Why would I even want to do that? So I can't wait to share this with you. And also guys, if you actually want my personal help stopping drinking in the Sober Clip program, where we help you reframe the way that you view alcohol using something called first principles thinking. And then we have a community of business owners, professionals. We have coaching calls and you're also able to work with me directly, ask me questions and so on. If you want more details on how we can work together, please click the link in the description and book a call. We can jump on a quick call together and see if the program could be a good match for you. Even if you've already tried things like AA, willpower therapy rehab, it doesn't matter. We've worked with over 300 people now. So if you want more details, please click the link in the description and book that call. But now back to the video. So what inspired me to make this video was the other day I actually called the video editor. So I've got this amazing video editor. Shout out to him because he'll be watching this right now. So we jumped on a short phone call to make some thumbnails. So obviously when you make YouTube videos, the thumbnail is very important, right? It's what actually entices people to click on the video. So we spend quite a lot of time designing thumbnails. So we were coming up with this idea and we wanted to put a celebrity in the thumbnail because typically people like to see celebrities faces they click on them because it's recognizable so i'm like right we need to find a couple of celebrities that own an alcohol brand so we start googling celebrities with alcohol brands and both of us we just almost started laughing like is this for real there were so many celebrities that have an alcohol brand now, i'm not gonna sit here and start naming and shaming or anything like that. I don't want this to become some kind of gossip channel, right? It doesn't matter who is actually selling it. I'm sure you just go on Google and find it out for yourself. But it was countless, right? There were so many. And we see it in the news, you know, celebrity sells alcohol brand for $500 million for, you know, the valuation of this other alcohol brand owned by this celebrity is a billion dollars. And this will be important as we get further into the video. But there were so many people that owned a brand. You know, I'm almost sure that I watched some investor say that when he's looking for investments, he looks for habit forming products. What a nice term, right? What do you think Facebook is? Well, it's habit. What do we think things like drinking Coca-Cola? Well, it gets labeled as habit forming, right? What do we think of alcohol as? Well, it's habit forming. It's just something that we do. So when a celebrity is thinking of building a great business with a habit forming product, why not sell alcohol? Why not sell a caffeinated beverage? Because these are habit forming. People will come back to buy the product again and again and again. Listen, habit forming is complete and utter crap. Selling a drug to a group of people and then saying that they're in the habit of drinking a drug has got nothing to do with the habit. That is selling drug addiction. So these celebrities that are building these billion dollar alcohol companies are getting millions of people addicted to some of the most dangerous drugs on the planet. I've said this before, but what is the difference between a Mexican cartel giving out samples of their product and an alcohol company? doing the same thing. You know, I walked through the airport the other day and there was a, a couple of ladies there with like a tray full of drinks and it had samples of gin and vodka. And this was 9 a.m. in the morning. You know, why can't the drug dealer down the road just start dishing out bags of cocaine? Like, try this, try that. And in fact, why not do that in front of kids that walk past them as well? It's total and utter madness. So what is behind all of this? Who is behind all of this? Well, it's not necessarily who, it's what. And there's one word that is behind the entire alcohol industry. And it is greed. Listen, don't get me wrong. I'm all about adding value into the world, entrepreneurship, creating products that actually help people and change their lives. I think we live in an amazing world where we're able to do great things and get paid well for doing it. But if you're a celebrity that's got thousands of people, in fact, millions of people that are influenced by you, somebody comes up to you and says, hey, do you know what you've got to do is you've kind of just got to put your values aside for a minute, but you're going to get half a billion dollars. You're going to get $300 million. The right thing to do in that situation is to tell that person to go F themselves. But when we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars on the line for them to just sell out and literally 
poison their entire audience. Literally give them something that's going to put them in a coffin 10 years earlier. It's going to make them fat. It's going to destroy their relationships. It's going to do nothing for them at all. Nothing but greed is driving it. Because the only people that gain from you drinking alcohol are the people that make a profit from selling it. You, as the end consumer, gain absolutely nothing. Heck, the, the, the famous rapper 50 Cent, he was known for never taking drugs, yet selling drugs. Do you think he drinks alcohol now that he sells alcohol? Of course he doesn't. I think he's noted to have one or two drinks, but I don't even believe that. I think that he knows exactly what that stuff is, yet he even owns an alcohol company. And to me, this is all pretty psychopathic. It's having a complete disregard for other people. And this is what you've got to understand, right? There is an incentive to get you to drink alcohol because drinking alcohol is a chain reaction that never ends. It never ends until you say that enough is enough, right? Until you discover a channel like mine, like some of the other stop drinking channels out there. And then you start questioning what's actually going on here. You know, I've maybe spent $100,000 on alcohol in my life. How have I managed to do this? When you start asking yourself these questions, that's when you start waking up and you start seeing through the lies. It's like taking the red pill in the matrix. It's like you see what's actually going on. And that's what I want for you. That's why I make these videos. I want you to stay hyper vigilant and hyper aware of the stuff that is going into your mind, of the inputs that keep going into your mind, of the people that are promoting alcohol with these positive messages. There is nothing positive about drinking a drug, especially one that's a poison that's ethanol. So just keep your wits about you. And if you click the video on the screen right now, you can learn why a drinking problem exists with a new system to get control.